I'm gonna name it Stubby. I don't think it liked that name. What's up guys, Bearded here, and welcome to the very first, I think, episode of Arc- Oh look at that, stop reading. Welcome to, I believe, the first episode of Arc on the Gaming Evolved server. Um, I did make some videos before on this server, but that was more like in the group, and we went into caves, and I think another one I tamed uh, a dire bear with Syntac. And this is more the, the constant series that is going to be going on in of English. This is more the ongoing series that is going to be of ARC on this server. And I was going to start earlier, but stuff kept happening. I kept losing my base, and this is the current one uh, that I have now that you see. But, like, before... Let's see, if I, can, I can show you on the map. Before I was at about, I think before I was about 30 latitude, or no, sorry, uh, 35 latitude and almost 69 longitude, pretty much. And it was in, right in between two mountains, and that was terrible because a lot of, uh, uh, what's it called? A lot of alphas kept spawning and really high leveled brontos and stuff. I mean, brontos don't attack you unless you attack them, and that's pretty much what's happening. I was attacking them by accident. And uh, twice I lost my base, I, I lost some tames, and it just. I just became salty. So I moved to here, which is. Well, you see where I am now on the map. And. Um, yeah, <laughs> that is where I am now, and it's a lot better. It's really quieter up there on that hill. I'll show you the inside of my base in a bit, but right now I'm I'm looking for my bear because I filled it with metal and I walked up to the hill, but it was walking very slow, and now I don't know where it is. It might have gotten stuck. Here's the SS Kitty. It's my raft. Where is it? It couldn't have died, did it? Syntag? Why did you kill my raptor? <laughs> it's fine, I actually lost him. I, I, I thought he died, but I don't... I didn't know where he went. Holy shredder with the demolishing. Uh, I died? This must be like, previous stuff. Um, yeah, well, my dire bear didn't die. Also, this little guy right here, it's almost like a, I don't really know how to explain it. It's a dino though, it's an omnivore, and I'm going to tame this guy, and I will show you that in a bit. I just want to find my freaking bear because he had so much metal on him. He maybe go along down here. I think also in the update they updated or they updated. Oh, there you are. What are you doing down here? Huh? Oh man, I missed you. What? What is happening? <laughs> um. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna get the metal. Gotta get the metal. Uh, meat. Should be better now, eh? Oh, glitch. Better now? Yeah, you are. Still a little slow, I think. Like, if I. If I run. No, oh, no, you're running. 
and I'm stuck. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, I have this guy. Uh, he was a little, little level. Um, this is the dire bear I tamed with Syntac that you saw in the other video. I guess he can stay here. Um, what button is it? There we go. So yeah, this is my my leg. This is my leg. This is my base now. I put in... What is this door called? The dinosaur gate. I put the wooden dinosaur gate. It's about two stories tall. And then this is the bottom floor where all the storage is. That's like... I've got wood, thatch, stone flint, hide fiber, uh, weapon structures, and so on. This is like uh, the special item one. I just named it treasures. This is the all the blueprints. I don't know what else I could put down here. This is the area for the fridges. I got a generator out behind there. Then this is the only full ramp because the other ones can be placed but then they come through the ceiling and then it's kinda in your way but this is the bottom floor so I did that. And the industrial grill was bigger than I thought so it's kind of in the way but it's alright. I can deal with that. This is the, uh, I guess, crafting uh, level, and uh, finding forge, smithy, uh, those things, <laughs> mortar and pestle. Yeah, this is what I mean with the, the ramps. Also, they show on the sides of the building, down on the outside. Oh shit, I can't jump. Well, I'm going to get rid of my metal, and I'll be able to jump. So you go in here, you go in there. I'm gonna have so much metal after this, and I really needed it because I need bullets, and I need a sniper rifle, and I need other stuff. So this is where the fabricator is. I don't know what else I'm gonna put here either because the fabricator was just, it was huge, and I didn't know where to put it, so I, excuse me, I put it on this level, I, yeah, I don't know what else I'm gonna put up here. And then this is supposed to be like the bedroom. I put the bed here for now, and I don't know if I'm going to put like a table or something up here, just for decorations. And then this is where I, it's like the landing pad, I guess. I used to have two um, RGs, both given to me by Syntac, thank you very much Syntac, but he gave me this one after the first one. The first one... The first one I named Ass Hauler because I basically just concentrated on leveling the weight and he, he was, the weight was so high that he was basically like a dump truck, <laughs> basically, he could carry anything and uh, even if I was encumbered. But this one I'm concentrating on speed because Syntec named it Feathered Kitty, I really like that and uh, so this is basically the bird to get me around. But I think I was out on an obsidian run and I think I can't remember where I was but I was stupid and decided to go for uh, uh, what was it called I know that was a different situation what happened was I didn't eat I didn't have food on me and I started dying and then I became thirsty so my torpor started going up and then I passed out while flying midair and I fell and I was expecting me to hit the ground and die but I didn't. I hit the ground and then the Rex killed me and I have no idea where Ass Hauler is. He's just, he's somewhere in that general direction. I was hoping he'd still be in midair. Okay, I'm getting my situations mixed up. I think what I just said happened with Feathered Kitty, and I went back and found him. Yeah, I found him in midair. But I think the one with Ass Hauler, I was stupid, tried to land for uh, a drop, and I can't remember what happened, but I ended up dying, and I couldn't find Ass Hauler again. And he's not encumbered or anything, he's not in midair, but. One thing I need to start doing is when I'm out on these runs, like when I start flying, I need to basically do this and then turn it off when I'm done flying because if something bad like that happens, hopefully they come back to base after a while. 
but I flew around, couldn't find him, and yeah, it's just shit went down. So right now we are going to tame one of those new dinos. They added a centipede, which I am scared of. I apologize with this lag. I don't. I'm, it's probably my internet, but I don't know why it does that. Um, because any other game I play, I'm fine. And I need berries. I'm gonna have to handpick them. Oh, you're up here now. What are you doing here? So it is uh, an omnivore, so we need to get berries. And uh, the other thing I want to try to concentrate on taming is uh, uh, Gigantopithecus. Pithecus? I, think, I can't remember how you pronounce that. So I don't know. I don't know if there's a certain type of berries this guy takes. I was talking with Bobby, and he said that it kind of looks like a badger, so he kept calling it the badger thing. Whatever. I held the button. I keep doing this, by the way. I'm like... I play, and I try to get good, and then I am just that guy that's like... Uh... I don't know, like, I can do it guys, and then just shit goes down the drain, and I'm just like, I, I look terrible, and yeah. Put taming food in last item slot to feed. Okay, uh, let's, I, always, I like to use azul berries almost all the time, so let's go with azul berries. That's something I meant to do. I hope you don't start attacking me. Taming effectiveness plus 15 level. So that means it's going to be about 47? 46? Yeah, 47. Now we just gotta wait. <laughs> we just gotta wait. At least it's not like the Gigantopithecus where, uh, if you don't back up, or if you don't back off, it just starts running after you. The only thing I hate about this area is... What are you... The only thing I hate about this area is there does seem to be a lot of fog almost all the time. And quite a bit of rain, I've noticed, but whatever. I wonder how long this is going to take. I know the Gigantopithecus can take a while. This seems to be going quite alright. So this is called the L Lystrosaurus? Lystrosaurus? I think it's Lystro. And this is a female. I don't really know what they can do. You poop a lot. I guess that's what you can do. You can poop a lot. Get hungry again. Oh my god. It's... Oh. Uh, it's pretty much full. What? What's with all the pooping? Is it because I'm feeding you? I want to look at your face. I guess it could look kind of like a mole thing. Yes! Yeah, th this is what I read. It said something about a lovable pet and in, and in the update, and it says, despite being among the island island's tinier herbivores, Lystrosaurus is an incredibly resilient survivor. It recovers its torpor and health much faster than most creatures, which makes rendering a lith lice Lystrosaurus Unconscious, a rather difficult affair. Extremely loyal pet once tamed. It's a very fast learner, so it gains experience much more quickly than most other creatures. Additionally, its presence nearby appears to inspire allies, making them learn and gain experience more rapidly as well. Oh! So, that's interesting. 
Thusly is an ex excellent addition to any tribe's hunting party. So if you get like two or three of these, you can pet it. Oh my god! That is so cool. I'm still crouched. <laughs> it looks weird in the grass. It looks like it's creeping up on me. Can I pet it again? So it... it doesn't take a saddle. I guess it's too small for a saddle. And it helps level up other dinos. That's neat. Don't worry, bearded. I'm coming. It's just... Oh my god. It, it actually... Before I was like, what is that thing? And now it's... I don't know why, but it's, it's, it's getting to me. It's kind of cute. Can't pet it again. I really want to pet it again. I want to see it jump. I'm gonna put you like right here. Yeah, you can, you can go there. I want you to stop falling. There we go. I don't know what to name it. Um, it's a pet. I'm gonna name it Stubby. I don't think it liked that name. I like Stubby. I still want to put up, uh, what's it called? The spike fence or spike wall around here. Oh yeah, look at that. It's not working on Feathered Kitty, but it's, it's leveling up these guys. So probably if I bring down symbol just popped up. Nice. So if I... Let me just see. Uh, experience. It's, it's staying the same. Oh, it's going up by two each time. I thought that was just a regular thing, though. Do you have level up? You do. Uh, I did do the weight a little bit because, like, I kind of lost ass hauler, so. But I'm gonna keep doing speed. What do you have? You don't have anything. How's your food? So I'm assuming this guy takes, uh, berries as food. Yep. So I'm gonna have to work on those berries. We have to pet. Yeah, I have to pet him. Okay. So each time you want the leveling thing to work, you have to pet him. And it looks like it only lasts a little while, but he's got a level up already. Um. I don't think his weight matters. Movement speed, sure, it's at 300%, which is surprising. Melee damage, alright. Health stamina. I'm gonna go with melee damage. And I'm going to step back a bit. If I can. Oh, he does something different each time you pet him. The first time he jumped up and did a spin. This time he did a little wiggle. I was I was expecting him to do the jump. I was trying to get ready for it. Oh, he needs to be petted again. What's he gonna do this time? What's he 
can do. That sound was so cute. Oh my god. That was so adorable. Is he like is is it supposed to be like him learning tricks each time he does something? Oh, that was so cute. I can't believe I'm telling a dino that almost looks like its skull is on the outside, that it's cute. I'm not being mean or anything, I, it, it's, it is cute, but I just I can't believe I'm telling a dino it's cute. So thank you guys for watching, feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe. And as always, bye for now. I did the flip that time. Let me out the f*** out of here.